Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley unboxing matchbox. Moving parts, I'm pretty sure. Basic, I'm pretty sure. 24 count, 8 count. Pretty sure I'm looking at both. New packaging, right, with the uh, with the uh, moving parts. K case, C case, 2024. Both from A and J Toys. They sent over these matchbox cases. I feel like I haven't done a matchbox unboxing in a while. I think I did one. There was a red Porsche in it. Boy, I'm telling you, there's been so much, uh, I, I just lose track. So we're just going to look at some cool cars today. We might open them up. We might not. We're just going to see where this takes us. Definitely go and hang out at anjtoys.com. Get yourself what you want. Hot Wheels cases, Matchbox cases, you name it. Let's start with the moving parts. Move the camera down just a little bit. Um, I think this is the case with the Porsche and... Uh, BMW and Audi. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, we'll just look at whatever other cool cars are in here. Um, I guess you can uh, like him. So I'll just look it up. We'll just open these up. We want to showcase these. We can. I actually have a mix. What are we looking at? Well, did I open that up? Soon? Nope. That's. I guess that's how it comes out. What are we looking at? Yep, that's the BMW. So we're going to open this one up. Um, I already opened, I got a set of these from Matchbox, from the Matchbox team uh, a few months ago. I've showcased them on our shorts, but I'll definitely put them on the turntable. Uh, you know, talking about this stuff right here. Really, really cool. But we'll put them on the turntable so we can see them up close for the YouTube audience. So let's just start. We'll just do it that one that uh, we showed first obviously this is the new packaging i think we've all gotten used to this right we've seen it in stores i think this is the this is the c case right so this is the third mix of the moving parts this one has three new castings in it i believe right and they're all great 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 euro is the uh, unofficial theme here obviously this is the lower the recycled material uh, packages that they've used what was funny, you know, we've had comments about these. We've talked about these a lot. Do these cars get locked in? And someone sent me a picture and said, look, the car did get stolen. And it was the cardboard ripped up, this back piece all ripped open. And I was like, well, what is, what's the difference between that and a blister, you know, a Hot Wheels blister, a Matchbox blister taken off the pegs and ripped off the card and the car stolen. It's the same thing. This is not, this is not inviting anyone to steal any more than a, a clear blister does. So we'll be, we'll just done with that. So this is the BMW uh, CSL, 1973 BMW CSL 3.0. Really, really cool car. This is actually um, a bit of a throwback, right, to the original. They, they did the CSL a while ago. It's a kind of a, for matchbox collectors, for old school matchbox collectors. I think it was the early 80s, late 70s um, that they did that casting. It's kind of a, it's kind of an old classic. For me, it's ugly. This one is a far better casting. And, uh, you know, much more in proportion of a very, very cool model. So let's put that, we'll just put that right here, right? Next one. Oh, two BMWs. So that's nice to know if you're finding this on the pegs, you're going to get at least two of those BMWs. Here is the Porsche. We're kind of getting done with this, but we'll go to the basic here. So don't go anywhere because we're getting to through the good models very, very quickly. This is the Porsche 356A. Um, this one is... When I did the, when I opened this and did the showcase of this model, I was blown away. This has true model of the year potential, I think, the Porsche 356A. It's not an outlaw, it's just the classic 356. It's beautifully done. I always thought, I have it here, I always thought that these wheels, these disc wheels that Matchbox did were kind of built for this era. Now, I still would love to see them do a first generation 911 with these wheels as well. But I mean, there's belt for it. It's just perfect. I've always envisioned these wheels on a casting exactly like this. Um, it does have a moving part in the back. Let's see if I can. I might have to just put it on the turntable uh, with the um, with the moving part, so you can see the engine in the back. It's really nice. Obviously, the BMW I didn't even talk about that it has an opening hood uh, as well. I didn't even show that car loose, but we did put it on the turntable, so we're good there. Really, really cool model. Let's uh, let's keep going. Ford Ranger, 2019 Ford Ranger. We've seen this casting before. This was a nice, you know, just factory style version of this casting. So I we can just, well, I'll just show it quickly so we can put it on the turntable for at least a few seconds. Because so you can look at it. Because it's a nice casting. It's just we've seen this one before and compared to the BMW and the Porsche, something different. All right, same thing. Tesla Model 3, another casting we've seen 
Uh, maybe this is the second version. First one was red last year. I think I've got that right. Maybe wrong. I think I've got it right. Hot Wheels has done a Model 3. I think this is the first time Matchbox has done it, right? So very, really nice version in blue. We've seen a lot of the Teslas go in that kind of color combination. They've been doing that. Uh, Chevy Tahoe. Another one we released last year in charcoal gray, right? Was that right? And now we have it in this kind of maroon color, which looks really nice too. Opening hood. I think I'm giving these enough time on the turntable, right? We've seen them. I mean, they look nice. They're really nice, but we got a lot to do today. And then it's nice to see we've got two of the Audi. Now, two Audis, two BMWs. I know that this casting or that this particular mix does have a chase in it, right? Um, you couldn't, can't find the chase. I think it's the Pagani Waira uh, Roadster, I believe. Do I have that right? And uh, I don't know what model gets sacrificed. I would assume it's either the BMW or the Audi. Let's talk about the Audi, though. So here's something rattling. This one has the opening hatch, which is very nice. This is the 2023 Audi RS6 Avant. They did the, 19, you know, the 2004 RS6 Avant. So this is a nice update, more modern version of this casting. Uh, Hot Wheels might have done the generation right before this. This one is really, really cool. I've got it right here and we could put it on the turntable black tan interior full details front and back it's really nice it's really nice i think you know modern audi and when i say modern audi i mean like the last what decade or so you can argue the r8 is probably its its signature car but i kind of feel like and i love the audi r8 to be honest i really do um, but I kind of feel the RS6 Avant should be its signature because it's that such that combination of, you know, performance and function. That is the moving parts mix. We'll move this box down to the ground. If you could see behind me, I don't, I don't do a lot of filming in here in the uh, Lamley studio, quote unquote, because it's turned into the Lamley storage room. So much stuff that's come in, so much stuff I want to show you, so much stuff that I'm working on with the purge and everything else that. Uh, Woo, it's cramped. Um, get rid of that little piece of popcorn there. And let's open this up. So, C case, we already talked about it. Basic, I believe this has been, this is on the pegs now. Obviously, A&J has it. Uh, you can buy the case. Don't think there's a chase in this case to look for. There was the Ford GT in the first case, and they don't put chases in every basic case like... Uh, like Hot Wheels does, like with the super treasure hunts and the regular treasure hunts. All right. Looks like we've got some good ones. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. Let's do it this way. All right. This will just turn into a normal unboxing. If there's a car that I feel like I want to open up and put on the turntable, I will do it. We start with the Morris Minor Saloon. This is a casting that we saw in gray last year in the 70th anniversary. We get two of those. Really nice. British Racing Green, appropriate color for this model. Nice and classic. Really, really clean. I can show you. I'll go up close on some of these. Hopefully the lighting is okay here in the studio. I wasn't too religious about getting it well done, but that's a nice casting. Our winner of the worst or most disappointing new model from last year, the 20 in 2023, it's the 2022 Renault Twizy. I don't think people hated the casting. I just don't think they liked the choice, right? Uh, but I think it's a nice replica of a very unique car. And I think Matchbox should continue to do these. This is the Nissan NV van. Looks like some sort of tours and adventures. LA area, right? Tours in LA, so you got a cool a bunch of cool spots right there. Agave Acres, we've seen this deco done before. This is on the Express Delivery. This is actually designed by Michael Geralda, the retired but still quite active in making designs for Matchbox um, designer, right? Um, and these, I think, the areas he's lived: California, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. Should have put Utah in there. Then you got the four corners, Michael. But that's okay. Agave Acres, really cool. So he taught, he tells a story about how... There's a fingerprint here. I wonder if that's his. Well, I hope it's not his because then you could... Anyway, um, about this agave plant that, you know, 
right before they right before they die, they sprout this huge, you know, agave what sprout? I don't know what you call it. And uh, it can go to several feet high and die. It happened right before he moved out of the house that he'd lived in for a long time. So really cool. There is the 1966 Dodge Charger in green. I'll move it back here so you can see it better um, or see the color better. Really cool classic casting as well. Saw that in orange. Really like that one. And here's a little deja vu. So two of each of those. We're seeing a lot of twos, which is nice from some of these castings. This is the Audi e-tron. Was it in blue for as a multi-pack car? So here it is in red. Really nice casting. Again, a model. Like we've seen a lot of EVs from both Mattel brands. And uh, you know, it's what's it's what's appearing more and more on the road. So it's nice. I like we I think we've had these conversations before. Some people really don't like the EVs. Uh, my opinion is this is where we're headed. So we'll continue to advance the technology and I um, I think it's a good thing. All right. And that's a nice, a nice casting. 2020 Land Rover Defender 90. Can't remember if this has been in any other, if this black version. I've, we've seen this might be the third or fourth version. This one looks nice in black. Kind of a matte black color, which looks really cool. And there is the 2019 Subaru Forester. What Matchbox does so wonderfully well is models like this. Models that may not, you know, be a head turner on the road but a replica of something that you see very common. There's probably many, many people, um, you know, walking down the aisle with their kids and go, hey, that's my car. And they take it off the pegs and now they have a replica of it. There's a million foresters here in Utah, as you can probably imagine. All right, new casting alert. Look at this. This is fantastic. 1964 Lincoln Continental in black. This is something we will definitely, we'll put, well, there's, we get two of those. So I'll put this one over here. Um, let's just go ahead and open it and put it on the turntable. Not a moving part, just a nice stock version. Hot Wheels has done this car before, right? And, uh, convertible, right? I believe. And they're doing it for, um, RLC with opening doors. And here is a nice basic $1, $1 plus version done very stock like which i just like that's really really nice really cool model and one that uh, i think is a very welcome matchbox we'll put that one right down there below here we can even move the camera down a little bit all right not a new casting but one that i think people will be very excited about look at the color on that porsche 918 spider looks so good in this bright green highlighter i don't know it's not highlighter green I don't know what you'd call that color. Art's great. You know, it's good. So it's going on the turntable. So let's... I didn't really open those other... I probably should have put the charger on the turntable, but didn't think to. But you can obviously assume that I'm going to film um, the turntable shots after this, so I can go back and put the charger on it. So maybe I will. The Porsche looks great. Yellow, gray. That's what we've seen on this one. This is the coolest color because it just stands out. And I think cars like this should look like this have crazy colors on them this is so well done look at the detail on the uh, on the back there that's really well done for one dollar basic i don't think you can get much better than that that's really nice all right looks like we're going to get the deja vu again here so we start with the 2019 jeep renegade casting it tends to hang on the pegs but the color is nice there, i should probably put it in the shot and then tesla model s i like this casting a lot um, they did the original Tesla Model S with the more oval grille. Um, and so this is kind of the updated version. White with the black rims yesterday, or last year. And then here we get this nice red version. I think it's great casting. Great casting. And then, of course, Deja Vu. It's nice to see almost everything that's desirable getting repeated. Right? Aha! Uh -huh. Another new casting. Oh, and this is nice. This is nice. 1977 Jaguar XJ6C. There's the art. New for 2024. Nice they're putting that little symbol up there. We'll put one over here and let's open up one. They have um, themes for these, but I haven't... Like car show or something like that. I don't think there's... Hang on, we'll put that over here. See, they put that little extra protection in the blister too, which is nice. All right, let's have a look at this one. A classic car, right? 
And I think they might have done one updated version of this car before they retired it, right? The Jaguar did. Wheels, you know, probably a little more modern for this, and but we'll see versions, I'm sure, with the disc wheels on it, which will look like... Do a British racing green with the hub wheels that we saw on the Porsche 356. I think that's kind of perfect. But this is great. This is a great first version in blue. I I mean, how would how would they not do one in British racing green at some point? This is, a, again, it's just a great casting. It's just a great casting. And that's what you want with these classic cars. You want them well proportioned. You want them well detailed. All right, final two. Like this box. couple good ones we'll do the tesla first because we'll open up the uh, mitsubishi tesla model three. Oh yeah so they did do now is this model three new see this is where i lose so much track because they've done opening parts for teslas most teslas and they've done non-opening parts right so oh yeah it is new for 2024 so let's open it let's open it in fact why not here where is the other one Here's the blue one. Let's do a little comparison and see if we're looking at pretty much the same casting. From the front, they look pretty similar. From the top, they look pretty similar. From the back, maybe a little different. Is this one just a slightly taller? It's a three, right? Yeah. Hard to tell. But one has opening doors, one doesn't. Yeah, this one has a has like a thinner roof line, right? This one is definitely thicker. Wonder why that happened, because I don't know. Maybe within that one dollar that cheaper range, that cheaper budget they have for the basics, they have to do things a little bit differently. They're definitely different castings. But uh, anyway. There they are on the turntable. Looks nice. White Teslas. If I'm going to collect Teslas, I kind of like collecting them as white cars because I think they just, that's what you see a lot of. Kind of makes a lot of sense. All right, last one. Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Yeah, I'll, co I'll, I'll collect the Teslas that I see the most of, right? White with darker rims. Okay. This is a great casting too. We saw, you know, I didn't even do an unboxing on this one. Where is it? From the Collector Series, they released one. Can you, you want a bonus unboxing? I never opened. I pulled one car out. I don't know which one it was. But um, maybe it was the Tesla Roadster. But yeah, they did a... They did a premium version. No opening parts on this one, but a premium version of the 3000 GT with the... Uh, Two-piece tires, the new five spokes, which looks nice. And then here it is with the basic five spokes. Great casting. We'll go ahead and open it up. Move that over here. And there it is in blue. Five-spoke chrome rims. dig this casting you know obviously hot wheels did it um matchbox now has done theirs auto world did a really nice version of it nice to see the the mitsubishi 3000 gt getting some love there you go if you want to see the rest of these i can do that in a video later because you've seen enough unboxings moving parts basics i real real nice highlights the lincoln and the jag are obviously great new model highlights but i mean for me i think the three moving or i'm sorry basics and then the moving parts the audi the Porsche and the BMW, but this is next level. This is next level, the Porsche. You guys tell me what you think. Thank you, everybody. Bye.